Good morning. This is Bill from Out of Europe at Naples, and today I have this incredible 2004 Mercedes-Benz SL55 Roadster. Uh, this is, of course, an AMG model. Uh, that means AMG got their, you know, mitts on this one and started making it much, much faster and much more evil and sinister. Uh, that is what uh, historically AMG does. Uh, they took an already very, you know, impressive uh, SL500 uh, Roadster and they bumped up the displacement uh, to uh, 5.5 liters. They added a belt-driven supercharger. Did some valve work, some head work, some bottom end work, and before you know it, it has 493 horsepower. Uh, you know, an incredible figure. This is not a light car, and it still propels this car from zero to 60 in under five seconds, standing quarter mile of, uh, I wanna say a little less than 13. This thing is an absolute screamer. Very, very quick, uh, very, very well. Uh, you know, poise, just a terrific machine all around. A, a great automotive journalist, uh, Chaba, how can I pronounce it? I had the hardest time with his name. Chaba Cheddar. <laughs> I think it's not spelled at all like that, but I think that's how it sounds. He compared these to the Duesenberg SJ, said this is the modern Duesenberg. You know, sort of a no compromises, uh, grand touring car that's fast, impressive, fun to drive and uh, you know just uh, sort of en encapsulates everything about uh, you know more than you need but uh, not enough and there it is so anyway look here what a terrific machine beautiful beautiful signature color mercedes brilliant silver all around you see those big v8 compressor logos on the side uh, compressor being of course german for supercharger big 18 inch alloy wheels the amg five spokes you've got the uh, front roll treatment with the mesh at the bottom sort of meant to mimic a formula one car you've got xenon lamps you've got the big star in the grill those continental tires are very fresh it has the trickest folding roof in the business very very cool and uh, down here uh, at the back you've got four very chrome very attractive amg pipes coming out the back your amg badging your sl55 uh, you know, up here around the window, you can see these uh, filler panels are in nice shape, showing this car's been garage kept. A lot of those are faded out if it's outside and uh, everything proper. What I'm going to do is show you the way the roof works. We can do that remotely. So I'm going to take the key, hold it to that little black rectangle on the door handle and press unlock. If all goes well, and it is, the uh, trunk will come up from the reverse. The roof will fold down into it. And there you have it. Very, very nice feature. Actually, what I should do now is get the windows down because it looks kind of silly with the windows up. But uh, let's do that. Now, that is my one complaint about the uh, remote operation. Put the damn windows down. Why not? Well, to do that, we hit the two autos there. They go down left and right. Pull the key out. And have a look at that. There is a two-seat roadster at its very finest. And again, 493 horsepower two-seat roadster. Uh, this thing dispatches traffic like a motorcycle cop. You can move in and out like crazy. Uh, you know, don't say I'm promoting that, but you can certainly do it if you choose. Uh, let me show you in the trunk, because this is a very nice feature. God, always with the trunk space, you can tell I'm getting old. All right, to get in here, you can lift this guy up, press this red glowing button, and the folding top lifts up a little bit to give you access to your trunk area. Very, very nice feature from the German engineers there. You see we have very new looking AMG floor mats, quite nice. You can put your cargo in, put the divider back down, tap that, down it goes, and you are set. Let me show you inside the car. Now, of course, the SL500 is no slouch anyway, but they've added some stuff for the AMG versions that are absolutely lovely. Uh, one thing they've done is they've made it beep at you. It's beeping at me right now for no good reason. It just beeps at me. Anyway, you can see the beautiful two-tone black and graphite, leather inlay, side airbags, power windows, uh, full power seat control, uh, cool seats, hot seats, memory seats, also the massage seats and orthopedic, very nice. 
and uh, there is a very thick sport steering wheel. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you under the hood, then we'll hop in and close the door so the damn thing will stop beeping at me. God, relax. All right. Look at that. That is automotive perfection. Again, 5.5 liters of V8 AMG power, supercharged, head work, bottom end work, tuned. This thing is a monster. And of course, uh, everyone individually built by some fellow at AMG. So if the whole thing explodes, they know who to get to. You know, they know who to go find. And uh, he pays the price. But uh, hopefully this guy was one of the good ones. And, uh, you know, this is a fine motor. It sure feels that way. Uh, over here, you've got a Mercedes-Benz battery. I always like seeing that. That shows dealer maintenance on the car because that's surely been uh, replaced at some point. Again, your big uh, Xenon headlamps. Uh, everything looking nice under there, very proper. You know, this is definitely going to be a collectible car. And, uh, you know, that engine proves it. Look at it. You can put that on a stand and display it in a museum. It's gorgeous. Also, the styling with the, you know, swoops in the hood, the matching swoops in the fenders, the logo. God, it's just gorgeous, this car. Uh, very nice feature here. If you press this arrow on the seat, uh, boom, it comes forward and gives you access to a couple of little cargo areas back here. This one gives you your CD changer. The other one you can put your books in or something. And then these are cargo seat belts. So if you put something on that package shelf there, you can pull this guy out, buckle it down here, and it's gonna hold it in place. So whatever you choose to put back there, you can. No suggestions, children or something. And let's hop in and make this beeping stop. Okay, thank you for that. Let's fire up this uh, V8 and see how it sounds. <laughs> Sinister is the uh, correct terminology, I believe. That is a lot of juice under the hood waiting for, you know, evil to follow. Uh, here you can see a beautiful Alcantara uh, suede uh, instrument cluster instrument cluster hump, a very nice feature. Uh, also goes into the headliner. Uh, the mirrors uh, up into the headliner of the car. Over here you've got your home link, your self-dimming mirror. Uh, the dash has a very nice leather looking treatment. Uh, here's your Mercedes-Benz command unit. You got a couple of cup holders here, very nicely engineered. Automatic climate control, shifter, uh, ABC sport suspension. That's very nice. What that does is pump up individual uh, struts on the car to keep it level and nice and well poised. So if you're taking a hard left turn, the right side gets firmer and, you know, vice versa. Uh, this uh, will raise and lower the car, believe it or not, with uh, uh, the uh, hydraulic suspension so you can get yourself more ground clearance if you need it. Uh, it also has uh, what I'd call an auto stick. So if you put it in gear, you can change this way, you can change this way. Nice. You can also go manual, comfort, or sport. If you're in manual, again, you can shift with the shifter or you can use these uh, paddle shifters up there. The flippity flips are there for you. Uh, you've got automatic headlamps with washers. Um, under here is your roll bar control. So if you press that guy, look at that. Up comes your roll bar. Roll bar. Some guys like to sport that. You know, they drive around with that up and it looks good, but I don't know, not for me. If you want to run the top, this whole flapper thing works that way. Anyway, let's give it a spin. So I'm gonna go, let me go comfort. No, let me go sport. No, sport, yeah. God, you can just hear that uh, that big V8, just nice and low car. All right, now this car could get me in a lot of trouble. Um, you know, look at these white face gauges, by the way, very attractive, just 48,000 miles on this car. Now, if I hammer it and unleash 500 horsepower here in this neighborhood, I'm going to be in trouble. You know, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it's going to happen at some point. They'll throw me up against the car. They'll be very unhappy with me. And, uh, you know, things won't go well for me. Hopefully that, that isn't gonna be the case, but you never know. Anyway, let me give it a little, oh God, there's someone walking. I can't do it, I can't do it. She's gonna give me the evil eye, like I'm some kind of offender. All right, hold on. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> That's it, that's all you get. But what happened is I nailed it, the rear tires broke loose because this is an insane, fast, fun car. 
and uh, and all hell uh, started coming to earth. So, man, before I get in trouble, come buy this thing. Uh, 2004 Mercedes-Benz AMG SL55, 493 horsepower, over 500 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's a monster. It's an absolute monster and a real joy to drive and, of course, a lovely car to boot. So it's got the best of all worlds. If you have an interest, give us a call. 239-649-7300 uh, on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Uh, thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it, and we'll uh, we'll see you with the next one. Take care.